Good morning everyone, I hope we are well. In today's lesson we're going to be working on adding and subtracting negative numbers. I'd like us to begin by imagining a basket. So this basket, it's perfectly suspended in the air. So it, it's almost like it's levitating, right? So it's not rising, it's not falling, it's just perfectly staying in that same spot in the air. So that's because it's got a very, very strong helium balloon pulling it upwards, but equally it's got a rock pulling it down. So it's got weight pulling it down. So these things are counteracting each other. So this basket is just hanging in the air. So let's say these balloons, they represent positive numbers. Let's also say that these rocks, they represent a negative number. So I want you to think, what would happen to my basket? So remember, it was just levitating perfectly in the air. What happens if I add on another balloon to that basket? Well, hopefully you'd agree that if I add on a helium balloon to that basket, it's going to pull it upwards, so that basket is going to begin to rise. Okay, so thinking about numbers, we know that if you have a number and you add on a positive number, so if I do three, add positive two, obviously that gives me positive five. So five is my answer. So that's something we already knew, really, isn't it? So if, if we add on a positive number, um, that makes my number get larger, it rises. But what happens to my basket if I, say, add on a rock? So hopefully you agree, if I add on a weight, if I add on a negative value to this basket, that basket's gonna go down. Yeah, it's gonna fall to the floor, right? So let's say if I have three, and I add on negative two, if I'm adding negativeness to my number, my number is getting smaller. So if you're adding negativeness, you are pulling that number down, aren't you? So this means three, add negative two, that gives me positive one. So that plus minus, when I've got plus minus right next to each other, in my head, I can just think about that as a negative. So that's basically three, take away two, gives me an answer of one. So keeping those two concepts in mind, so knowing that adding a negative is just the same as taking away, I would like you to work your way through task one. So this looks like loads and loads of questions, but actually, I think you could do this quite quickly. I, I don't think this will take you any longer than 10 minutes, because if you look, some of the questions are very easy. For example, three out of five, we know gives us eight and so on. You might also notice some interesting patterns as you work as you work your way through these questions, right? And so please do it all. It, it won't take as long as you think. Um, and then as soon as you're ready for the answers, unpause the video and then we'll continue with the lesson. OK, so these are your solutions to task one. OK, so let's return to that um, basket analogy. Right. So let's say, remember, my basket, it used to be hanging perfectly in the air. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to snip off that balloon. Okay. If I snip off that helium balloon, can you think what would happen to that basket? Would you agree that it's now going to fall to the floor? Because the balloon, was, it was pulling it up, but because I've taken that away, that basket is just being pulled down by the rocks. So it's getting lower. It's going to fall to the ground. So this means if I subtract a positive number, so if I take away a balloon, my number gets smaller. So three, take away positive two would give me one. So taking away a positive is the same as a negative. It's the same as a subtraction. So three, take away two gives me one. All right, but here's the important one. What would happen if I get my scissors and I snip off that rock? Okay, so remember the rock was pulling it down the rock was the force pulling it down, but if I take my scissors, if I take my scissors and cut the rock off, would you agree that this basket is now going to go upwards? It's going to head up to the sky, float into space. So if I take away a negative, that is making my number more positive. So what happens when I subtract a negative number? Well, if I have three and I take away negative two. 3 minus minus 2, that 3 is going to get larger by 2 units because taking away a negative, thinking about my rock basket analogy, taking away a negative makes something get larger because you're removing the negativeness from it. 
removing the negativeness makes something bigger. So 3 add 2 gives me 5. So minus minus, when these signs are right next to each other, that means you're adding. So 3 add 2 makes 5. Okay, so at this point, please can you pause the video and work your way through task 2 on your worksheet. And these are your solutions to task 2. Okay, so now that you've done task 1 and task 2, your final task is I would like you to test yourself on the skills that we've done today. So um, your task 3 is made up of uh, 10 questions um, with, with a mixture of all these rules. So for example, what happens when you take away a negative? What happens when you add a negative, for example, all right? Um, so please let me know how you get on. Um, if you're really stuck on any of these questions or if you would like me to explain anything further, uh, please just let me know via Google Classroom and I'll be more than happy to help you. All right, thanks very much, guys. Good luck.